Oil theft and pipeline vandalism have taken a huge toll on the nation's economy and development. In the first quarter of 2022 alone, Nigeria lost as much as, as much as $1 billion to the activities of vandals. To this end, the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, has carried out surveillance to apprehend the perpetrators of this crime and curb the menace. Our correspondent for Lashade Ogumide tells us more in this report. These men and women are paraded by the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, for suspected links to a syndicate of oil thieves who specialize in the adulteration of automated gas oil, otherwise known as diesel, in the Ojota area of Lagos State. Working on intelligence, the men of the NSCDC bossed the operations during the late hours of Thursday, the 21st of July 2022. Upon investigation, 35 barrels of diesel was uncovered in the compound, along with a fully loaded 45,000 litres tanker truck. At this oil dump, we discovered that this is where they adulterate most of the oil, and this causes a lot of damages to the vehicles and the trucks in the society. So we discovered this place for some um, four days ago, we've been on surveillance, and yesterday evening, late evening, we were able to bust into this location, this arena, and uh, we arrested six personnel. Ideally, this is expected to be an estate where responsible people are. But through the ego eye of our intelligence unit, they were able to capture this place despite the gate. And we see this thing is a sabotage. I mean, it's ill to the people's health, people living around. It's not good. It's not an industrial area. And I wonder how people can think about doing illegitimate business to the detriment of the health of Nigeria and Lagos. The commandant of the Lagos State Command of the NSCDC, Iweka Idinabo, reiterated the readiness of the NSCDC to improve on its activities, to nip the menace on the board and ensure that perpetrators are brought to book as the act is detrimental to the well-being of citizens. And as I'm talking to you now, we are still investigating them. We want to close in on all the syndicates that are involved in doing this dastardite uh, act in the society. I use this medium to employ all Nigerians to be to go for a, legit, a legitimate job and not job that will cause sabotage to the economy. We don't want all this sabotage and we, will, we are ready, as a civil defender, we are ready to defend our mandate and bring them to cripple their economy so that the system of the, the country economy will improve. The commandant further explained that investigations are ongoing to apprehend other members of the syndicate and in that four buyers of the adulterated diesel have also been apprehended and will be prosecuted according to the dictates of the law. Fulashade Ogrindi, TV360 News.